Hi everybody, I'm back today to share a walkthrough of my second album for December Daily 2018. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that I um, decided to use two uh, 3x8 albums for my December Daily this year, and I'm really, really happy with that decision. Um, you can see on my channel, you can see a walkthrough of the first album. And then um, you can see they're pretty thick. Uh, the first one is a little bit thicker than the second. But um, yeah, I let's go through. All right, so inside we have um, the opening page here. It's a little hard to see in the, in the album because it's a see-through transparency, um, but that's okay. So inside is a... Um, Transparency, and this is just an old one from my stash that I used um, Ali's idea for the um, sort of pieced tree um, from the December Daily Products Play to class. Um, and so just made those in colors that I thought this was a foundation page that I made. Stapled on the cork numbers from the main kit. And then on the back, I just hand wrote my journaling um, using template pieces that I saved. Um, to to write out um, and make the shapes the same as what's on the front. So that's day 17, um, telling a story about um, just a general sort of everyday uh, story. And then day 18, this is one of the pages that came, one of the cards that came in the 3 by 8 um, card kit, and one of the... Um, acetate pieces just stapled on. Here I used um, chip, the chipboard numbers and I inked them up. Um, so I just applied ink right to the top of them and then applied them over my label just for something a little bit different. And then did some um, hand-drawn lines and journaling on the back. Um, and this was all about um, decorating. So um, a story of how we added some outdoor decorations this year to our collection and, um, and to our decorations and photos of my dear husband uh, putting them up. So here we go for day 19. Um, I cut down a card. Um, actually, I think this is a piece of pattern, old pattern paper that I used. And this is a card from a story kit. Inside, there's a little lift up to reveal some journaling. Um, this was a hard day for our little, our tiny family. Um, so the journaling is sort of a note to my husband um, about that, and then decided to pair that with a full page photo of him doing some, some training and, and having a moment with our pup. And yes, it's dark, and yes, it's grainy, and I don't care because um, what it represents and what it's showing and will serve as a visual reminder for is um, sort of elaborating what I've written about. And um, yeah, just it's capturing the moment. I don't care if it's a perfect photo. Like, my life is not perfect. Um, none of ours are. And so um, using the photos that I have to help tell the story is um, is my approach. And then I just added on a couple of the um, acrylic stars that came in the main kit. So day 20 here is a full three by eight photo um, of ornaments, laser cut ornaments that um, my husband and I made with my niece. So she drew out the pictures of each of the little little families within our big family, so each of my siblings, and their children and their pets, um, and uh, in her case, her and her sister and all of their pets, uh, which is super cute. Um, so she drew those out on the iPad, and then we took the images and um, cut them on our laser cutter at work. Um, and so here I just added a couple of the rubber words. Um, for those of you who I know this has been a topic of conversation in some of the Facebook groups and things, but these rubber words I'm adding on with a bit of the Ranger multi matte medium. Um, and it has worked really, really well so far and there's no yellowing or discoloration or anything like that. So these words are really too small to use um, red line tape on, which is recommended, um, but I've found that this stuff works really great. 
So then what I did is pair that with the wood veneer from the kit on top of a, a gold transparency. This is just a transparency I bought at Michael's um, uh, and then told the story about handmade gifts. Um, so this is a story that I knew I wanted to tell. Um, put the card in through my printer and typed out my journaling because it was a bit more. Um, this is a, a handmade gift that I make for my husband every year. Um, is a photo canvas of um, nine photos that sort of represent places we've been or things that we have done that year um, that are, it's just us. Um, and so now we have Ruby in our photos and so that's wonderful. Um, and he loves that, that's his favorite gift every year. Um, I don't know where I will put them all eventually, but uh, I've been told I can't stop making them. So then on the back, um, some handmade gifts that my husband made, um, a name puzzle for our nephew that he carved on the CNC machine, um, and then a home, uh, a home sign uh, with a Maryland crab for my sister um, that he made for her. Um, here is a little insert that I did that's just an additional story. It's not assigned to a day. Um, and this is all about making what my call, family calls party mix, also known as Chex mix. Um, and sort of a bit about how, the history of it in our family and um, how it's one of my favorite holiday treats. And then paired with a, um, this is just a three by six photo. Um, and then I just inserted some pattern paper here, folded in half, punched a hole. Um, in between the layer or the front and back, um, adhered it in to make a, mm, to, to hold it into the album. Added um, a couple of, one of the little circle stickers that came in the main kit and a chipboard from the main kit. And then one of the um, tab stickers as well. I love those. Again, and a sort of additional story here. Um, right? Yeah, cause this was day 20. Um, so this is an additional story from, this was a Friday, um, our last Friday of work, and um, my cousin and I work together, and um, so we had gone out Black Friday shopping and saw these adorable shirts at Old Navy, um, and so we decided that we were going to wear those together one day to work. Um, so I just adhered it on the front of this transparency that was in the cab, or uh, transparency add-ons, and then on the back just added a card created a flip up, did some handwritten journaling about how cute we were <laughs> and added a chipboard on top. And then another insert. So what I found is that, um, especially for the second half of this month, I had planned out sort of all of my stories. Our Christmases, our Christmas traditions and celebrations typically last for a week. Um, we have a lot of family that we celebrate with. We do a lot of different things. So in terms of days of the week, those stories were already sort of forecast. Um, but then I found that I had lots of other stories of little moments and everyday things that happened that I really wanted to include in the album. So I did, I just did that. <laughs> um, there are no rules. Uh, and so that's why you see some of these inserts of things that are important to me in this season of life, things that I really wanted to remember or make sure that I wrote down um, and captured those. So um, this is another one of those. This is a story all about um, our pup Ruby and how we uh, um, totally um, got back on the Bark Box, um, which is a dog subscription. Um, so it's like a monthly toy and treat subscription for dogs that comes in the mail. Um, and we had been subscribers for sort of the first year that we had her and then decided we had enough toys and treats and so we canceled it. Um, and December came and roped us back in because it was Grinch themed. Um, and they came with a super cute, um, it may be hard to see in this photo, but it came with a super cute, um, Max reindeer antler. Um, and we may have some, some special plans for that for next year. So back on Bart box. Um, and then the paper on the outside is actually part of the, like, um, paper that, comes in the box that like sort of is like tissue paper but it's it's thicker than that um so I just I thought that was really cute um added a couple stickers on the front again you may have seen this trick in my first video but I just punched a hole in the center here added a brad um through just to create a little like clip for the um 
to keep it folded in um, so that it didn't flop out every time we turn the page in the album, things like that. All right, day 21, um, added chipboard on a onto a piece of vellum and a chipboard sticker, and this is just like inserted in. And this is the story of um, my, uh, this is my dad and his brother, and we get together and do dinner um, around Christmas with them at our favorite pizza place um, and local restaurant. Um, just to see them because they're the only relatives that we really have on that side of the family. So we don't do gifts or anything like that. Um, but what we do do, um, and so there's a little bit of journaling here. This is a three by six card um, from that pack. And then um, what we do is my uncle buys enough um, scratch offs, uh, which was a thing that my grandmother loved um, to, to buy all the time. She would buy them every week. Um, she would buy them for special occasions, birthdays and Christmas. We all got them. Uh, when we were kids. And um, so he buys enough scratchers for everybody um, and we sort of have fun going through and seeing if anybody wins anything. Um, so far, no one of us have won top prizes or anything. <laughs> A cute photo of my niece and I, um, just that I snagged during dinner. Um, this is another bonus story. So my mom um, gave everybody at dinner um, my mom gave one gift to every, every sub family in the larger family of, um, these, uh, Thai wreaths. So, um, they're actually made from our grandfather passed away a couple of years ago. And so she took his ties, his Thai collection and made them into wreaths. Um, so now we each have one of these. Um, and so that was super nice. And so this just, this story just tells, or this kind of story is about um, these Belgian liege waffles. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, when we did our road trip um, this last year um, in August, we visited a friend of ours in uh, Salt Lake City and he took us to this amazing Bruges waffle place. Um, and we completely fell in love with them um, and spent the rest of the year trying to find um, places that sell them nearby. Um, and so we haven't been successful in that, but um, they're made with pearl sugar, which is this like crystallized sugar and it, it, they're delicious. I, I won't go into it because I could talk about them forever. But I told my husband, I said, look, when we do our family Christmas, um, he usually cooks. Um, and I said, I really would like to have, we have a tradition of doing breakfast for dinner um, or having breakfast. Um, when we get together for my family's Christmas. And so I requested waffles. We found a great recipe. They turned out fantastic. Um, so this is just a picture of the waffles cut into a tag shape, um, a little bit of ribbon just for my sash, um, added the uh, this chipboard on top. And then on the back, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen at some point I took a bunch of my old Project Life kit, car kit cards and cut them down um, into usable pieces. So a lot of them I cut down into tags or smaller cards to sort of clean out my sash, get rid of the rounded corners because that's not really a style that I um, favor anymore. So this is one of those pieces. So this is actually a four by six card from the Everyday Core Kit. Um, from Project Life from Becky Higgins and um, I just cut it down into a tag and so then I did my journaling on the back, added a chipboard and a sticker, some staples for uh, from my tiny attacher for uh, decoration um, and we're good to go. A super cute, my, my um, niece, since we made the ornaments, she asked if she could make cards for everyone so she um, hand wrote and I love having pieces like this. I don't have kids of my own. So anytime I can capture that um, is a big thing. And it's probably a good thing I don't have kids of my own because I wouldn't be able to throw any of this stuff away. I'm a sucker for kid writing and kid spelling. Um, I used to teach kindergarten and I think I just <laughs> will always have a weak spot for that. So she came over one day, used a bunch of my stamps and made cards um, for everyone. And so she made cards and hand wrote out the envelopes and it was totally a secret project. I didn't watch her do it or anything. Um, and so we didn't know what we were getting. Um, and then she used these to give with her ornaments. Um, so I just wanted to insert that. And again, something um, with some texture and, and I don't know, it just feels good in my album. 
Um, so now we're getting into day 22, I believe. Oh, this may be day 20. Yeah, 22. Um, and I don't have a day marker for this. I don't believe. Yeah. Um, so this was the day that we celebrated um, Christmas here at our house with my family, uh, my immediate family. And so um, we have a couple of traditions that we always do. We always do Christmas in pajamas. So everybody wears sort of either matching pajamas or similar pajamas, um, but everybody is super cozy and comfortable and we always do breakfast um, food for our meal. So here is our sort of serious photo with all of the kids and pets and um, everybody. <laughs> um, and I just added a um, half chipboard and then um, one of the um, tab stickers to indicate that it lifts up here. Um, and then inside we have our crazy photo, um, which is just totally indicative of who we are as people. Um, and then um, this is some old stamping up paper uh, that I just inserted here and then added on um, some of those plastic words, um, which I loved. And then I added some stickers from the word phrase stickers that came in the main kit um, and the stars to create a little sort of tree shape. Then on the back, this is um, actually a layered template from Allie. Um, I believe it's from the week in the life from last year. So it's a three by eight um, of four photos each. And it had a little like um, overlay. I just turned those off before I printed it um, because it said like, love this or something like that. Uh, but it would have ended up in most people's faces. So I just took that off. So just a couple of extra photos from our day and then added on some of the puffy hearts. Um, and again, this is a piece of this pretty gold star paper is something that I found at Michael's um, and just wanted to use. Here's a little story of, um, there are some photos, sorry, of uh, my sister-in-law and my nieces opening one of the gifts that we got for them. Um, and then my brother dressed as um, Cousin Eddie from, <laughs> that was his, his, that's how he showed up to my house. <laughs> um, oh, here's my 22. Yep, so um, just added in the gold number stickers, some more of those rubber words. Um, this is another piece from a, um, I believe this is from the Midnight um, Project Life, Midnight Core Edition that I just cut down um, to use as 2 by 3 because I'm doing a lot more 3 by 8 and so being able to cut out sections of cards worked really well for this. Typed journaling, just to tell the story because there's a lot. All right, for day 23, we have another one of those divided three by eight page protectors. So this is a three by six photo of my cousin and her daughter and I um, going to see some uh, lights here in Baltimore. So this is like our big, um, it's a big draw. Uh, and then a black and white photo flip up that just <laughs> shows some photos from our dinner before we went to see the lights. Um, added one of the label stickers, stamped the number 23 on there. I'm not sure. I think those are just some old stamps that I have in my stash. Um, and this is one of the um, gold foil phrase um, pieces that was in last year's December daily kit that I just cut down and added across the top. This is a page that I made myself. Um, so I just, in Photoshop, repeated the word, created a text file, created the, or repeated the word Mary, um, really like the sort of bold look of this, the way that this turned out. Added um, one of the acetate wreath shapes and gold embossed um, the number 24. So these are the chipboard um, and I just dipped them in some embossing powder um, and heat embossed them. So here we have Christmas Eve. So family photo at my grandmother's on Christmas Eve. All of our, um, all of our littles from our family um, so my nieces and nephew and then my cousin's children, um, all sitting around reading, um, with the oldest. So, um, she's super fun because I'm the oldest, um, in our, uh, among my siblings and cousins and, um, Bryn will be the oldest. And so that's super fun to see how into her they all are, <laughs> um, as they're much smaller. Um, some more of that beautiful star paper. I love that so much. And the stars are like embossed on there. So it's really nice. And then just a simple, you know, our, our Christmas Eve is about being together. Um, and it's changed over the years as um, 
my grandfather passed away and my grandmother moved into a condo and um, out of their house where, you know, that was sort of a, um, yeah, Christmas Eve is just this big tradition and it's changed over the last few years. And so um, just really, it's about being together. Uh, and so capturing moments, what my, you know, my lens for that night um, going into taking photos was like, where are the moments of gathering? Um, and so lots of focus on the kids and things like that. So here they are opening presents together. This was the night before Christmas card. I loved, I thought this was really beautiful. Added a Avery index tab with a stamp in here, experience the magic, um, and wrote a bit about, um, this is my grandmother, uh, my niece and my cousin's daughter. And um, just wrote a little bit about, the, you know, sort of moments of magic. Um, and that was something that I'd sort of gone into the evening looking ahead to, um, because I'd made this flip up before um, as part of my foundation pages. So I knew that that was sort of the story lens that I wanted to use. And then on the back, I did something really crazy. <laughs> um, so this is a divided three by four um, page protector in the album. And we have this cool tradition of, um, we play this game called The Night Before Christmas. Um, and so my grandmother reads the book, it was The Night Before Christmas, and everyone brings a gift um, just a like sort of white elephant or, um, you know, candles and just things you think will be very general and generic that people would like. Um, and so every time my grandmother says the word the in the story, we stand in a giant circle and we pass. So what I did this year is took a panoramic photo of most of us. This isn't all of us. Um, and then printed it out um, in, uh, let's see, three by 12. And... Um, yeah, so that I was able to include it, uh, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out and, and captures that in a way that, um, I don't know how else we would capture that. Um, a cute photo of my dog snuggling with my cousin. Loved the giant 25 card, definitely knew that that was something I wanted to use. I added the Christmas cheer, um, puffy heart sticker on top. On the back, um, again, I went into the holiday season because I'd set up my foundation pages. This made this really nice. And I knew that I could change my mind if I wanted to, but I went in with like a theme or a story lens for some of these bigger days like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, um, so that I had some guidance on my journaling and guidance on what I was looking for throughout these super busy days. And what I found is that it really helped to keep me present in the moments. It really helped me to look for specific moments um, that would otherwise just get lost in the hustle and bustle of a, a giant family thing, uh, Christmas with many children and animals and <laughs> um, just busyness. So for Christmas Day, my theme was about finding cheer. So this is just sort of list style journaling of moments of cheer throughout the day. So um yeah, it, it just worked as a lens and I just kept notes in my phone throughout the day of like, hey, write this down so that you can go back and document it later. Um, and then I paired that with a three by eight a horizontal photo, used the all is calm, maybe kind of sort of uh, chipboard on top. So this is sort of the after we opened our Christmas pre or our presents on Christmas morning, um, my husband and our dog sleeping in the recliner. Um, before it was time to get through the rest of our celebrations for the day, which were two more, I believe. <laughs> um, so yeah, just that scene of this moment um, of cheer um, and rest. So then here is a adorable photo of my, my nephew and our dog in their matching Santa pajamas that my mother-in-law bought them for Christmas, um, which is just, I can't even, it's too cute. <laughs> Um, so here I made a flip up. This is a trick I learned. I don't even know from who anymore, um, but from the product play travel product play class over the summer last year. And so this was a nine by 12 um, page protector and I just cut off two. It was um, nine three by fours. And so I just cut off two rows and then you sort of cut this edge off. You can see, maybe you can see here. Um, just cut this piece off of the page protector so that it makes the room for a flap, add an Avery index tab and sort of bone fold the top of it so that it stays folded. Works 
awesome. Um, use the label stickers just to add a little bit of journaling about our Christmas. One of the traditions we have with my husband's family is that um, his aunt writes Christmas, uh, custom Christmas carols every year. Um, and so I didn't want to include the whole sheet because it would be really big for this size album. So I just took a photo of my husband holding his lyric sheet for this year's song. Um, my niece got a hand-me-down phone to use mainly for watching YouTube um, and Netflix, um, but she sent us a text message um, to her aunts, and so that was fun and a reality I'm not yet ready for. <laughs> so again, these are all just photos from our Christmas day, and some of them line up with some of the journaling that I did back here. Um, my husband and our nephew and um, our pup just looking super cute and, and calm. <laughs> um, so what I did for day 26, so this is, would be the day after Christmas, this was a foundation page that I made and this was inspired by something from the uh, December Daily Products Play class. So what it is inside is, um, this was a notepad and I have to have my husband still do his, so it's not yet complete, but I couldn't wait to share it any longer. Um, yeah, and so this is just a tag notepad. The only thing that was on here was the line. And so what I did is use some gold glitter embossing powder to um, to emboss the words give and love. Um, and then I hand stamp stamped out our names on each of them and added one of the little star stickers. Just added some ribbon from my stash. The stamps are from my stash as well. And then what the journaling is, is about the favor our favorite gift that we gave and the um, a gift that we received that we loved. Um, and then here for day 26 is just a um, transparency tag that has like this little bundle of things. Um, this is an old wood veneer from my stash that I just stamped on, um, an acrylic star. And then on the back, um, and again, my husband's is not complete. Make sure that you're not getting too much glare and you can see this. So then on the back, what I did is just added a photo and made it, cut it out in a tag shape of either something that we gave or received. Um, and actually, I think we did things that we just received. Um, so my husband got me this cool national park map so we can track all the parks that we travel to. And again, used my Brad trick as a way to hold this all in place because it's pretty chunky um, and so you can see that turns just fine it adds some bulk in the center of the album but that's whatever <laughs> um, here just added a little sticker and had it interacting with the edge there um, on one of the cards from the three by eight card pack um, and on the back did um, a little bit of journaling so these were ornament stickers there were five pictures of ornaments or icons of ornaments on that sticker sheet that came with the main kit. And I decided I wanted to use them to tell stories about our ornaments. So I picked, um, I used the five stickers and then I added gold stickers from the kit. Um, and then just did a bit of journaling about five ornaments, um, from our tree this year. So the first one is our family ornament we go out together and we there's a whole big thing and i talked about it in my first book um but we go out together and buy an ornament every year um like at the mall and so that picture is that and then the rest of our our ornaments each year usually come from travels so we did a big road trip this year to the pacific northwest so these were all um ornaments that we buy when we go to visit national parks and places of interest so we've got Crater Lake, Oregon, um, the Seattle Space Needle. This is from Devil's Tower um, in Wyoming. And then on the back, Glacier National Park. And one, um, I handmade some of these yarn pom-pom ornaments. Um, and so there's a funny story that goes with that about our, how much our dog liked them, tried to eat them off the tree. Day 20, so that was um, the story for day 27. Day 28. Um, these are old numbers from my stash. I don't even know. Maybe they're, I think they were from a messy box kit, um, from a beautiful mess a long time ago. Um, a picture of my niece, a black and white three by six of my niece, um, staring at the trains. We did the train garden. Um, that's one of our traditions. And so I just did a little bit of journaling about something I wanted to remember from that day. Um, 
because I'll have more about that day in my Project Life um, album. So day 29, um, I actually have no photos for this, which is regretful, but um, we hosted just some of our friends from work and some of our friends over. Um, and so this was something that came from the product play class. Um, so just stamped out who, and here's the story on, um, this is a six by eight page protector. That's um, the 12 two by twos. And so I just cut it down to be one strip of them. Um, on the back here is the rubber piece of ink, drink, and be merry. We had fun friends over for dinner and um, we cooked and I think we barbecued. Um, yeah, and so it's just journaling um, about that. Day 30 is um, a three by six photo of my husband's whole family. We got um, his grandmother a gift card for all of us to be able to go out. Um, that was my mother-in-law and her sisters that was her their gift to them was for us to all be able to go out to a meal together so this is almost everyone um and we just went to her favorite diner and had dinner with her or had lunch with her um and a little bit of journaling about that gold 30 on there um and then for my last page of the album i journaled a bit i included a three by six photo of the three of us, um, just a random selfie snapshot that I took on Christmas day. Um, this card came in the three by eight card kit. Um, and then just did some journaling. These were on the chip, one of the chipboard sticker pages, um, that came in the main kit and, um, just some memories, things that generally I want to remember from this season, um, that may or may not have been documented otherwise in the album um and just sort of taking a moment to reflect on five things that were wonderful and then um use the star of wonder star of night till next year added a acrylic star and that is my december daily so thank you so much for tagging along i hope there's something inspiring in there for you um yeah, and I this was the first year that I created an album for this project. I will definitely be go back, going back to do the al years that I haven't documented yet um, in an album. And I loved this project. I loved the size. Um, yeah, I can't wait till next year. <laughs> All right, take care.